Nuclear decay is a random process, meaning we cannot predict which nucleus in a source will decay next or when. Here we have a sample where some nuclei have decayed, and we can't tell which will decay next, as all appear the same until they decay. We also can't tell exactly when the next nuclei will decay, as this happens when one feels like decaying. It could be one second, it could be one day, it could be one year. So this also means we can't exactly predict how many nuclei decay in a certain time period. All of the nuclei in the source have the same chance of decaying in a given time period. So how exactly do we demonstrate how the nuclei in a system decay? Well, we can demonstrate how a radioactive source decays over time by tossing coins. This is an experiment you can easily try at home. Start by tossing a large number of coins. Each coin represents an unstable nucleus. So each coin in this experiment represents a nucleus in a system. And the more coins used, the more accurate the result, but the longer the experiment will take. Each coin that lands on heads is removed from the sample. These represent decayed nuclei. So here is the result of tossing all of our coins, and these are the nuclei that have decayed. Next, toss the coins again and repeat until all coins have been removed from the sample. So keep tossing the remaining coins each time, and removing those that land on heads until you have no coins left. Each toss of the coins represents a certain time period. That could be one year, for example. This experiment demonstrates how many nuclei decay with each time period and demonstrates just how random the process is. We can keep track of the number of coins decaying with each toss and then present it on a graph. You aren't expected to remember the process of this experiment, but you may be asked to describe how it relates to radioactive decay. So if radioactive decay is random, how exactly can we predict how quickly a sample will decay? A radioactive source can contain millions of unstable nuclei. So we can give the probability of each nuclei decaying in the next period of time. So it could be that there's a 20% chance of decaying in a one minute period. Looking at the coin experiment, each coin has a 50% chance of decaying per toss. So we can make predictions about the number of nuclei that will decay over a period of time. So we can predict approximately how many nuclei will decay. We can say that if each has a 20% chance of decaying, roughly 20% will decay in a one minute period. In the coin experiment, the more coins we use, the more likely around 50% will decay in a toss. So we would see roughly 50% of the coins decaying each time. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.